Hey guys, I want to show you a little product. Um, you'd seen it in some of my videos. I didn't really mention anything about it. It was one thing I was sort of just testing out um, since after the first of the year I picked up one of these. Um, I got it at REI. It's made by a company called Soto. And um, they've made various like camp stoves and things like that. This was sort of their pretty popular items when it came out. And uh, what it is, if you don't know, I got my little guy here as I burn myself. I'll try and get you a picture of the flame without burning myself. But uh, it's a nice little micro torch. And the neat thing is, I've had other micro torches, um, the little bulbous ones that you have to fill with the, the cartridges, and they use a lot of fuel. Um, if you use them, even if you're making just a couple of paracord projects, uh, it's a whole lot easier to use than a lighter, a nice quick singe. Um, I don't know, they're just a little bit more convenient than actual lighters are. A um, little more windproof, and, um, you know, but like I said, the other one that I had, it used a lot of fuel, and I don't know, it just seemed inconvenient. I ended up not using as much. It was kind of bulky. It was something you didn't really want to carry in your pocket uh, because of the diameter of it. And what this thing is a little different, if I can get it snapped up behind the camera here, it's in there pretty tight is uh, here's the actual head piece here and inside it is built for all this cheap square little I guess these are scriptos um, I, they won't fit a BIC I don't believe um, I've just been buying the the square slightly rounded oval scriptos I mean you can get you know like a pack of 12 or something for like a dollar something at Walmart um, any gas station is gonna have these so it makes it a little bit more convenient to take the everyday sort of you know gas station lighter and to put in to become a mini butane torch so uh, my only negative comment is as you can see when you let it go it seems to not turn off right away. Part of that might be the fact that I've got the uh, scriptos turned up so high. Um, let me, uh... So, as I was thinking about it, I did have that other scripto turned up quite a bit higher. There we go. I guess that was one of the main reasons for lingering, is uh, if you turn the fuel here behind the camera there we go if you turn the fuel up uh, really high um, you may get a lingering flame out of it so the, more, the higher your flame on there probably the more fuel you're using so you're gonna get a little bit lingering flame so I'll have to remember that um, but overall I've had great success it works great in the wind it works great um, you know trying to dry out some uh, wet tinder if you're not trying to be fancy and use the ferro rods which I usually am to be honest with you um, I just find it more challenging and more fun, but uh, a neat little product without having to carry all the extra fuels. And um, one of my old standby favorites was the old, uh, I guess it's called a Colibri. I don't know, I picked it up at uh, Outdoor Research years ago. And it had like a little mirror in it, and the other side was a compass. And then, of course, as I throw it on the floor. And then uh, you've got the fuel adjustment on there. And of course, these are better you know than lighters and such at uh, high altitudes another mirror under there but I've never really cared for the fact that the heating element there let's get you a little picture doesn't really produce a flame I mean it, it's hot right above there but it makes it very difficult to try and get it into a tinder bundle or a fire um, you know it's nice for starting I guess stoves at 12,000 feet but um, Every time I've carried it, I don't really remember using it that much or being excited about the fact that I was going to use it. So um, it just basically usually stays at home. And uh, this thing I've actually packed quite a bit. So I don't know. Neat little product if you didn't know about it. Uh, look at REI. I think they even have a new one this year um, that has like a big extended wand thing on it. Um, that seemed a little ludicrous, but uh, neat little package for uh, utilizing cheap Zippos. Sure, it certainly turns these little dollar cheapos into uh, a fantastic little torch.